<clears throat> hey guys, so I want to take a look at the coordination model button in Revit. I think this came up in 2019, if I remember. It could have been 18, I, I don't know, but either way, it's there now uh, and you can use it and it's pretty easy to do. So, with Revit open, you can go to Insert tab and then the coordination button is right there. You can add some, so I already placed one, so I'm going to remove it. And we'll go ahead and just add it real quick. And we can just select a, so you only, you only can select NWDs and NWCs. So those are Navisworks files. Uh, there's another Navisworks file called an NWF, but that essentially just is a, a model with a bunch of links to it. Um, so you just need an NWD or an NWC. Uh, this example, I have an NWD created. So we just grab that, open it, and um, it's now been added. You can change positioning, so you can change it to origin to origin or shared coordinates. Um, after you do that, uh, you can change you know, um, it from absolute to relative. So there's only uh, a select few options you have here, not a lot, but after you do that, you can press okay and the model's in there. You can find it by just um, kind of selecting outwards and trying to find this. Um, you could also do this and filter, check none, and then you can find coordination model. I'm going to move this out of the way so we can kind of take a look at it. I'm going to turn off my section box. And then now we can see what we've just brought in. So essentially this is that model, uh, but a Navis model. Um, What's nice about this, um, not so apparent with this um, example, but if you're working, you know, um, maybe you have the architectural model or maybe you're a mechanical contractor and you want to bring in all the um, uh, MEPs into your model, you can do that, you know, well, without, you know, bringing in AutoCAD or some other third party software, you can bring it in directly with the Navisworks model. What's nice with that is that it it works pretty smoothly in comparison to um, bringing in a Revit plumbing model. You know, with all the lines and stuff in there, it generally causes the Revit model to slow incredibly down. Like it, it slows it way down to where it's almost unusable, depending on the size of the AutoCAD file. Again, you know, with Inventor files and, and all those uh, file types that have a lot of um, Lot, you know, they're just CAD based and they, um, you know, or they're an inventor file that has a lot of information in them. They can become, you know, almost impossible to work with in Revit. But if we want to visually sh represent that information in our model, maybe to coordinate with, we can use this coordination bu button to bring it in and then visually represent that geometry pretty easily um, without dealing with a lot of uh, um, lag in our model. So I've brought this in and we can now look at it. Maybe we just compare the two uh, in one you know, view, maybe overlay them so that we can start comparing the differences or if there's clashes and stuff. Um, also, we can we can visually change it, but only, only a few things. We don't have a lot there. So if we go to VV, our visibility graphics, we <clears throat> generally at default, we have these you know, um, uh, tabs, so model, category, annotation, analytic, imported, filters, and then this added one coordination. You may see this with like um, um, design options and um, oh, I can't remember some of the other things as well. They kind of pop up up here uh, when you start adding them. So design options is another tab as well when you actually create a design option. Coordination model, again, it creates it when you actually brought in a coordination model. It goes away. This tab goes away as soon as that model is taken out of it. So we select on we if we select on that, we can do a few things. Um, we can turn it on and off here. We uh, can't really drill down into this, um, as far as I know. There may be ways to set it up um, to go a little bit more in depth with this, but for now, it just seems like we only have this option to uncheck it which if we apply that, it just hides it. So I'm gonna apply that back. And then over here, we just have an override for transparency. So if we change this and then press okay, 
and apply that we can see that the model's a little bit transparent now and that's essentially all we got to work with if we press OK we can select on that model and move it around you know we can rotate it we can move it we can um, we can't scale it um, which I guess sucks but it all depends on what you're really bringing in um, it may not be really applicable for something like this because if we scale it then you know that's not really going to represent what the actual model is but um, that's essentially it I mean when you create initially create your Navisworks model um, you can bring it in here if that's not the case and you're more or less receiving Navisworks models and not creating any at all um, this is one way to view it, um, you, you know, without having to jump in, in Navisworks. In Navisworks, you have a lot more capabilities in what you can do with that model. And you can also, vice versa, take your Revit model and put it in Navisworks. But say you want to start doing some design changes and stuff, then, you know, um, or even edit, you know, uh, clashes. Um, you know, you can do that within this interface by bringing in that NWD or NWC file directly into Revit and start, you know, you can start working with it. I was hoping to check out the interference check to see if that works, but, um, you know, you can't run interference checks on, you know, anything in there. Um, and I don't know how useful that would be. Um, you know, uh, I think it would be better if you didn't have access to Navisworks. You know, because this collaboration or this coordination button and insert really helps, um, you know, or gives you the ability to view these NWDs, um, especially if you don't have access to, to Navisworks. Generally, people do have access to it, and plus you can, you know, get Navisworks freedom for free. Um, so, but I still think that would be helpful to be able to clash against this, so maybe that'll be a future thing. But essentially, this is how you bring in a coordination model. You don't have a lot to do visually, you know, with it. And it seems like you can't hide, um, you know, specific categories in, in those models. Um, you, you might be able to if you if you know that you can do that. Um, I, I'd love to hear um, uh, uh, how how that's done. You know, just comment or, or, or send me a message. Um, but hopefully this helps uh, the people that didn't know how to use the coordination button. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Please like, share, comment, um, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks a lot.